Hi, it's Jordan here at Rybuck Copper Land Rover, Halifax. So today we've got a 2011 Freelander XS TD4. It's in silver with the ebony interior. So we'll just take a look around the car. Come down to the offside front wing, which has got some minor scuffs on, which would require a bit of polishing. Uh, down to the wheel, which has got no curb damage on at all. Uh, just wants a good clean, and maybe a little touch up at the bottom there. And we've got a good 7mm on that tyre. So we'll take a look around the offside of the car, which is all nice and straight. Can't see any major damage down there at all. Got a very light scuff to the mirror cover there, which is something and nothing really. Uh, down to the offside rear door, which has got a scuff there to the trim. Uh, so a few little scuffs there, which we want touching up. And down to the quarter panel, which has got a minor car park dent there. And also maybe a little bit of touching up and a bit of a polish there and some light scuffs. Uh, it's down to the wheel, we've got no curb damage on that wheel at all. Uh, it just requires a good clean. The tire's got a good 5mm on that tire there. Uh, so round to the back of the car. We've actually got a reflector missing there, which is in the boot of the car, which would require refitting. And a crack there, just to the brake light at the back. few minor scuffs there just to the bumper across the top which would require a bit of touching up and a bit of polishing. Uh, so down the near side of the car again all looks nice and straight uh, can't see any dings or dents on that. Uh, down to the wheel which has got no curb damage on at all uh, just requires a good clean maybe a little bit of touching up just there. Uh, that tyre has got a good 8mm on that. Uh, so because we're down the car we've got some very minor light scuffs on which would require a bit of polishing and just a little bit of touch up down there to a chip. The mirror cover has just got some very light scuffs on that. Down to the front wing, got some very light scuffs again which would require a bit of polishing and just a little bit of touch up there just to the stone chips at the front edge. Down to the wheel, we've got no curb damage on that at all. It just requires a good clean and the front tyre which has got a good 7mm on that. It's so around to the front end, just got a few stone chips, nothing too heavy. Uh, same on the bonnet, just a few there at the front which would require some touch up. Uh, up to the windscreen, which all looks in order, we've got no marks on that. And up to the roof, which again, all looks in order. Uh, no real marks on that at all. Uh, it's also got the roof bars on that. Uh, we've also got a little bit of paint peeling off there, just under the washer jet. And also on the other side, just starting to peel off there under the washer jet. Just take a look in the boot of the car, which has got the full on parcel shelf cover. Uh, I've also got the rear reflector there, which would require refitting on. And we've got all the kit in there also. Just take a look in the back of the car, which all looks in order. Really nice and neat. Some very light scuff there to the leather. Uh, not really much damage at all. Looks really nice and neat in there. It's also got the rubber mats there on the floor. Just take a look in front of the car, uh, so we've got nice condition of the seats. It's very slight crease in there, it's nothing major at all. Uh, so we just jump inside the car. So we've got the rubber mats in the front as well. We've got the sat nav, and we've also got the controls on the steering wheel. So we'll just start it up. No lights on the dash there at all. We've got 95,566 miles. Uh, we've also got the service book, the old MOT, and we've got the B5. So we've got the MOT, which is due to run out on the May the 20th, 2016. And we've got the last service done on the 22nd of the 1st, 2016. And that was at 92,042 miles. So there you have it, the 2011 Freelander. Uh, it's got 95,000 miles, really nice condition for the age, and I think you'll agree, it's a really nice car. Thank you.